Well, the sun is finally out. We are gonna go back down to the ponds where we were yesterday. So nice out. This one's joining us and is not making dinner. So, and I think, so I was talking to the owner of this property <laughs> and the, uh, the creek bed that he owns runs all the way up to basically the base of Crazy Horse. So it's about a mile and a half up the creek bed and you get pretty much to the base of Crazy Horse, which is kind of cool. So I think that's where we're going to go check out. Stars from the roof of our cars, letting go of our hearts. Close your eyes, pretend that it's your first kiss. Darling, can you feel it? Oh, so we found this little barn shed that's got a slide and a toy truck right here. Oh, you know what, Alex? I think he had said that there are bow and arrows around here somewhere that we can use. Yeah. Wow. Do we want to shoot some arrows? Do you want, well, the, do you want the compound or recurve? Okay, I guess we're going to uh, shoot some bow and arrows. Actually, you know what? I wonder if I can hit the target from all the way over here with a bow I've never used before. That was really close. That was actually really close. I was gonna say five bucks you miss. <sighs> that wasn't far off. <laughs> if I was over just two feet, I would have made it. Yeah! Ding 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 ding! You should just turn. Okay, so this place. Right here, super cool. It was built in 1903 as part of the Homestead Act. They got 60 acres here. And basically they did the valley. There's another little barn right over here. Um, and the original family still owned it uh, when the guy that owns this place bought it. Uh, not a little while, 30 years ago, I think. Yeah, this is so cool. It yeah. really is. He has keeps little bows and arrows and other things in here. There's golf clubs, there's no golf balls. I'm guessing all the golf balls are in the pond. That's They're in the lake, us. for sure. But he has a little bait trap that down there and a net and yeah. you can go this fishing. Is, this is, so as far as an RV park goes, this, this is really guy cool. is, it's a small, super low key campground. The site itself is really basic, but the, I'm gonna call them the amenities. So this is fun. so cool. And like the fact you can come back here, we're basically the only ones back here. <laughs> yeah. We don't wanna grow up. Well, picnic time. Picnic table, a freshwater spring. I am totally gonna go give that a shot. One, two, three. Okay, you want to try a sip? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Does that taste really good? Uh -huh. Oh my God, so good. I guarantee you it's not gold, but like. Oh, it's, it's uh, who's gold? See, that stuff floats away. Yeah, the mica or whatever. Yeah. Your butt is right in the camera, by the way. Hi! <laughs> I'm to try it. You wanna fill some up for mom? Yeah. Here you go. Oh my god, that is really good. This is like so amazingly good. Um, do you like a bunch of I do. One, two, three! Yeah. All right, we are on our way back. That was a heavy wagon. Awesome hike. I, really, I mean, I wouldn't really say a hike. It was more of a walk, stroll. I think I'm hiking at the current moment. Well, yeah, you are. We are going uphill. Maybe lugging is the right. It was a, a very fun lug. The little spring was amazing. Colson, do you have fun? Can you say hi? Can you wave? Say hello. <laughs> Somebody's getting tired. Okay, so the game plan is we are gonna load these boys into the car and they are going to take a nap. 
we're gonna go drive and check out Mount Rushmore. Uh, because we're right next to it. So it's kind of one of those where it's like, oh, we might as well, we sort of have to. Yes, we do. Alex really wants to see it. Yeah, and I've never seen it before. You've seen a postcard of it though, haven't you? Yeah. I see a postcard of a lot of things. I know, but so there's one, for whatever reason, in my mind, Mount Rushmore is like one of the few things that seeing it via postcard is just as good as going to it. I've been there once before. I know, maybe I'm being a little cynical, but there's so many things like Delicate Arch in Zion National Park. No way is a picture worth it. I mean, you go there, do the hike, it's amazing. But for whatever reason, for me at least, Mount Rushmore is kind of one of those where if you're right here, it's worth going there, but whoa, okay, this one's worth stopping for. Look at what I just found. Uh, that's, that's the game plan. Nap time, drive time, and go look at a giant sculpture. So I may have spoken too soon. They didn't even make it to the car. That one's out. Here's Hartley. <laughs> Alex is in heaven. We are in a rock shop. So we are in the town of Keystone and it is ridiculously kitschy and touristy. I am having fun. It is, but yeah, it is actually kind of fun. They've got a lot of really cute shops. We just left the rock shop. Now we're going to an art store. Art store. Yeah. Sounds good. So uh, we got some pans so we can go panning for gold at the creek that we were at this morning. Uh, I think we'll probably just find a bunch of mica, but you know, these guys won't know the difference and it'll be fun. Instead of going to Mount Rushmore, we headed to Under Canvas to watch the sunset behind Mount Rushmore. Good morning, everybody. I'm chipper and happy, however, Hartley is not so much. His tummy's hurting him a little bit. We have ongoing issues anytime that we get water out of our water storage tank in our trailer, we get stomach issues. And this one's Hartley's turn. So we're back hooked up to hose, but we are still off to the creek that we were at yesterday to go pan for some gold. I doubt we'll find anything, but I think it'll be fun for the boys to play around in the water. And the water is so, 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 so good. Like, beyond amazingly good. So, off to a creek. So, did find some garnets. These little, little pink dudes in here that are clear are garnets. Little itty bitty dudes. And some bugs, apparently. So we've been panning for a little bit. We, had, we have not found any gold that we're aware of, but there are a crazy amount of garnets. So I was sifting right down here, and uh, let me show you. I sifted all in one spot. I don't know if the color is really coming out, but that pile right there is like bright red from all the garnets that are in it. If you guys are thinking of going to the Black Hills, I cannot recommend the campground that we are at enough. It is Echo Valley Campground. The owner's name is Greg. He is incredibly nice. And as I think I've said, the campsite itself is nothing special. But this is what this place has to offer. He has 60 some odd private acres, an original homestead of which you guys probably saw us at yesterday, and then this pond, like a beautiful little trail, and he borders National Forest. Actually, this hillside right here is National Forest, as is like this rock cluster that's back over there. So, I mean, basically from his land staying here, you can hike up into National Forest that is incredibly hard to get to otherwise. So like, I mean, amazing, amazing spot. And he's not that expensive. 
it was like 35 bucks a night to stay here. So, um, you know, give this guy some love. He doesn't have a ton of spaces. It's probably 15, 20 spaces. Hope you guys have enjoyed our little adventure in the Black Hills. We are off to go pack the trailer up and head off to Devil's Tower. So that uh, is our next stop, heading towards Bozeman and then up to Glacier. And after that, we are headed to the West Coast. So super excited for doing that. You excited, Mr. Colson? We made it to Devil's Tower, and uh, yeah, it's impressive. Right, okay, this, this, this formed two miles underground. Okay. Okay, but there's a weakness at the bottom of the crust, uh -huh. enough for the magma to try to come up, uh -huh. but it's fighting resistance all the way. So we ran into our first issue today of being too big with our trailer. The Bella Forge campground that is inside Devil's Tower was 35 feet and under. There was maybe like one or two spaces that we could have fit, but they were already taken. Since it is a Saturday afternoon, definitely uh, didn't work. But we are outside the park uh, at Devil's Tower View, and it's pretty simple. It's electric only, but it's what we need. Other than that, there is no boondocking that we were able to find. And it still has a pretty decent view, can't complain. Park's only a couple minutes away. Alex is gonna make some dinner, and then we're gonna go in for sunset and moonrise because we have a full moon rising at like eight o'clock tonight. I'm kind of excited, so hopefully I get a decent picture of it. I'm contemplating trying to figure out a way to do a time lapse of it going over the tower. So we are here at Devil's Tower and it is a absolutely phenomenal sunset. Hopefully the time lapse that I'm getting might look something like this. Partly, we're doing some uh, trail side school right now. Uh -huh. yes. cool. What are you doing? Are you learning to spell your name? Uh -huh. And I pull an H. That's, a, that's an H. H. Good job. An H. This is an A. Okay. Okay. No. H. And you, you can't see his R right now because he colored it in. But oh, that I, is a very I good R. Can see. Yeah. Yeah. And partly helped me with my trail side drawing of Devil's Tower. I like it. It's, I think, beautiful. It's a masterpiece. It is. It's going on the fridge. If, if anyone uh, would like to purchase said item, please wire one million dollars to our no, offshore bank account. Eight. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want it, let us know. We will get an offshore bank account. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Morning, Hartley. Did you sleep well last night? Uh -huh. What are we gonna go do? I don't know. What are, what are we having for breakfast? My date. With? Yeah. Do you know how lucky you are that mom makes you pancakes in the morning? Uh-huh. Uh, I remember my mom made me pancakes in the morning too. <laughs> yeah. I never got sprinkles though. I had fritters. <laughs> Your hair is amazing, buddy. You know that? So this is how this morning is going.
Hey, bud, you ready to go for a drive? Pick you up. How are you feeling, dude? You feeling great? Okay, well, that's a pretty good answer for the way you've been going this morning. Hartley has puked a couple times this morning already. We're not feeling super hot. But he says he's feeling great, so. But I will gladly pick you up and carry you to the car. Okay? So, given the fact that he is not feeling super awesome, our potential plan of spending another day here at Devil's Tower, I think we're going to kibosh that and probably just head straight on to Bozeman. You still, you feeling great? Uh-huh. You're going to fall asleep before you get there. Hi! <laughs> I think we just want to go. Yeah. Okay, well, I think the decision has been made. No hike. We're just going to head for Bozeman, have a little bit of a relaxed day with some driving and hanging out with friends this afternoon. So, on to some more road tripness. Okay. Well, they are off. I'm gonna do my last little uh, final check. Make sure that everything is uh, put in and ready to go. Some delicious iced coffee this morning. I really wish that we had gotten to do some hiking, uh, but you know, Hartley wasn't quite up to it. So, anyways, we'll, uh, have to come back and go hike up to the base of it, or who knows, maybe when they're older, I'll come back and go climb it, climb it with them. So, on to Bozeman. Gotta love the smell of diesel. made it to Livingston, Montana. And we're almost to Bozeman. We are gonna go get some dinner at one of our favorite spots. What do you think? What do, what do your trains say? I, I do think they're... Choo-choo! You wanna go find choo-choos? Mm -hmm. Where do you think they are? Are they right over there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go get your brother. And then we can go get the trains. driving I-90 or stopping in Livingston or Bozeman. It is wonderful. Totally recommend it. So, on to driving up and over the pass and back to Bozeman. Come on, little man. So we are gonna introduce you to Lucky. He, I think a probably best term is past tense. He was our kitty. And our friends who we are staying with have been taking care of him recently. And the boys are absolutely obsessed with, with him right now. He came back in the trailer and he was super excited to see us when we first pulled in, but he's, he's been happy being here in Montana, mousing and uh, all that sort of stuff and not getting driven all over the, all over the country. There's the magma. Mm -hmm. As it reaches near the surface, two miles down, mm -hmm. it starts to find cracks. The four bumps we just talked about, Missouri Buttes, Devil's Power, forms underground. Mm -hmm. The ground erodes away. The buttes come out. That's why they're rounded. The tower is still underground. 
That's why it's still so vertical. Vertical. It hasn't been exposed as often. That is exactly right. Okay. Now, magma that has nothing in it right. is basalt. Correct. Magma loaded with quartz mm -hmm. is granite. Correct. Magma loaded with feldspar is phonolite. Okay. Word you never heard before. No. Because those four bumps and the tower mm -hmm. comprise 80% of the known phonolite in the world. Mm. Wow. So it's very rare rock. Mm -hmm. The feldspar in it, when the tower stops moving underground, it starts mm -hmm. to shrink because mm -hmm. it's getting cold. Right. As it shrinks, it begins to stress and get fractures in it. And because feldspar will always fracture at 120 degrees. Okay. That's your crystalline. That's right. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. So the tower is 100% columns right. because of the feldspar forming the columns. 1,000 right. feet wide, 900 feet high, mile and a third around, every inch of it's a column. Okay, nothing like it anywhere in the world because again, 80% of this rock is here. There are lots of places that have columns that are made of this. Right. They're small, right. perfectly regular mm -hmm. because this formed underground, these formed at the surface right. because differential cooling. Okay. The faster it cools, the smaller the column. Okay. The slower cools, the bigger the column. Okay. So very different looking. Right. Okay. So now you know. Cool. Cool. Anything else? No. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank that, you so much. That probably wasn't the first time you've given that talk. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, bud? Thank you. Very welcome. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. What can I do? Um, Oh, I just saw that saying half 